Hey y'all and welcome back to another Sunday Reset. As always, we've got lots of motivation in today's video to get you ready for the week ahead. Excuse my voice, I cleaned out my car a couple of days ago and ever since I've been struggling with my allergies, I feel fine. I just have a really wonky voice. My nose has been really stopped up, so I've been trying really hard to get it under control. It's always a struggle for me this time of year when everything starts to bloom and we've got pollen. But yeah, anyways, I've got lots of motivation in today's video. We're gonna be getting some cleaning done. I have a pretty big grocery haul and also a meal plan. And they're all meals, what I call tired mama meals, which means they're minimal effort. So I will be sharing my meal plan for that today, but I'm gonna be filming them and posting them over on my cooking channel. That will be going up on Wednesday, so make sure that you subscribe over there. It's called Kelly's Kitchen, but I'll also have the link down below. And I'm so excited because we're gonna be changing out the rug in the living room for a new one. It looks so much better. I also am finally gonna be putting up some curtains in my kitchen and I cannot wait to show y'all. So I hope y'all enjoy today's video and get all the motivation for your Sunday. get too far into the video I wanted to take a moment to share my new plants with you guys and to thank easy plant for sponsoring this portion of today's video so one thing about me is I do not have a green thumb I've always struggled to keep plants alive so you may or may not have noticed that I have zero live plants in my home and it's because they always die on me I've tried before in the past and they always die well I've recently discovered easy plant with their self-watering plants, everyone can experience the joy of plants, whether you have a green thumb or not. After two years of research, experimenting, and design, Easy Plant set out to create the easiest plant to keep alive, making sure the entire experience is simple, straightforward, and easy. So how it works is there's a little reservoir that you fill up only once a month. Yes, once a month. So there's no underwatering or overwatering. Your plant gets the exact amount of water exactly when it needs it. So literally anyone can do this. And the website makes it super easy to pick plants for your space, including tags for low light and pet friendly. So I was able to easily pick out plants that were safe around my animals. Easy Plant provides a variety of plants and pots for every space with discounted collections curated by interior designers. And if you should run into any issues with your plants, Easy Plant has you covered with a 90 day guarantee and free online plant expert support. So my plants came right to my door in protective packaging that kept my plants thriving through the shipping process and the unboxing was super easy. I'm in love with the cast iron plant in my living room. I wanted that one specifically to go in front of the window in there. It's exactly what the space needed. And I chose the heart leaf for my kitchen. It's a smaller plant that fits perfectly on my counter, but it also doesn't take up too much space. And I love how it brightened up my kitchen. And my snake plant is absolutely perfect for my bathroom. My bathroom was really needing a touch of nature and this is perfect. I think it's so beautiful in here. And they even send the stand with it, which I love. And the best part is that shipping is free. You can shop all plants using the link below in the description box. I'll also have a 10% off discount code for you guys. Thanks again to Easy Plant for working with me on today's video and sending over these beautiful plants. I love all of them. They really brightened up my home, adding some color and some depth to the spaces. Thank you. 
so I'm just gonna finish up here in my bedroom with some vacuuming and mopping and then I need to get in my bathroom get that picked up and get palm bathed it was a bath day for her so I want to go ahead and get that done and anytime I bathe her I like to wash her bedding and all of my rugs just so everything is freshened up so I'll be getting that done today be doing a super deep clean in my bathroom I'm just clearing and wiping off the counters putting all of the products that I use away back in the cabinet I'm the worst about leaving stuff out but I have been trying to do better about putting things back in the cabinet as soon as I'm done so I'm gonna be taking care of that getting all the dirty laundry out I have a laundry hamper that I keep under my counter and I'll empty it daily into the main hamper that I have in the laundry room. I do the same for the kids. They have a hamper in their bathroom that gets emptied daily into the main hamper and then I wash everyone's laundry together. So Palm does not like a bath. She, if she knows she's about to get a bath, she'll run and hide, but she's fine once she gets in there. I think she actually enjoys it once she's in there and it feels good to her. So anyway, she tolerates the bath. She does really well with it. Here in a second, I will show you guys a clip of the two shampoos that I use on her. She has to be bathed with a regular shampoo first just to get her clean. And then I'll go in with a medicated shampoo for her skin. The regular shampoo is some oatmeal eucalyptus just a random shampoo that I got from TJ Maxx and the medicated shampoo I get from Walmart I used to get it at the vet but then I found it at Walmart and it's so much cheaper so that's where I've been buying it but I have to use that with her because she smells she smells like corn chips if I don't use it and she itches no matter what I do but the shampoo does help her so I've continued to use it people ask me all the time what kind of dog she is and she is a Pomeranian Shih Tzu mix I got her when I was 19 years old we lived in Hawaii I'm 34 now so she is 14 she'll be 15 in December she's an old girl but she gets around very well. Her and Charlie, my one-year-old Yorkie, actually play together a lot, which I think is great for Palm because that keeps her young, it keeps her active. But this medicated shampoo that I'm putting on her now will have to sit for five minutes. She doesn't like that part. She'll sit in the bathroom and squeal because she thinks that I'm just gonna be leaving her in there. It has to sit for five minutes and then I can rinse it off. So I always make sure to have her treats ready as soon as she gets out.
into the living room so first things first I'm gonna get things picked up in here and then I'm gonna work on getting a new rug down I've been wanting to change out the rug that's in here I do love this rug but I think the space needs something bigger and I had bought one for my bedroom I never got around to getting it down it was more work than what I initially thought it was gonna be and I actually started having second thoughts about it for my room because it is so big I think it's gonna cover my vents so it's just been sitting in my closet until I could decide if I wanted to try it in there but I decided to go ahead and put it out here in my living room that actually goes so much better in here with my decor than the old one does and I can always do something different for my bedroom if I decide to put a rug in there. I think Kai said he wants the old rug that I had in the living room in his bedroom so we're probably going to be putting it in there. One of those times where I really appreciated that my couch comes apart because when I was trying to get the rug down I was hoping I could just slide the couch back and kind of inch the rug under there and then slide the couch back forward but that unfortunately didn't work out I had to disassemble my couch which is really easy as well it's just a little bit of extra work but I had to end up doing that so I could get the rug spread all the way out this rug is humongous I don't remember the size dimensions of it, but I will have it linked down below for you guys if y'all are interested. have to tell me what you think in the comments about this new rug I think it goes with my living room decor and it fits the space better I love the pattern on it as well the colors in it are more neutral so I think it would go with a lot of decor schemes it also added a little classy touch to my living room I feel like and I also did pull away my couch from the curtains as suggested so it wouldn't smush my curtains Somebody said to put a two by four behind the couch to keep it from sliding back. And I think that's a great idea. So I need to do that, but y'all will have to tell me your thoughts on the new rug down below.
y'all. I've got a pretty big grocery haul this week. I'm hoping this will last us for the next two weeks. I'm wanting to get to Sam's the end of this month or the first week in April, hopefully. So I'm hoping this will carry us most of the way. I've also got stuff behind me, so we'll get to that in a second, but let's go ahead and start with what's on this counter. So starting on this end, I got two cans of crescent rolls and I also got some little um, smokies so I can do pigs in a blanket. So we'll wrap those up in the crescent rolls, bake them in the oven, the kids love them. Got two cans of the orange cinnamon rolls. These are my favorite. I could eat a whole can by myself. Also got two cans of the peaches and cream cinnamon rolls. I haven't tried these. Hopefully they're good, they sound good. Got some more biscuits. My kids love sausage biscuits in the morning and that's a really easy breakfast just to pop into the oven. I usually just get the great value biscuits. To me they're just as good as the name brand. Got some sausage patties. They really like these muffins last time I got them, so I got some more of those. And then some frozen waffles. I and mean, this way we needed some more sour cream. I'm planning on doing some more taco salad bowls and I needed some sour cream for that. I also got a bag of cooked shrimp. I'm planning on doing a shrimp and pasta dish with that. Got two jars of pasta sauce. One is gonna be for spaghetti and the other I'm planning on doing some Parmesan chicken, some white cranberry strawberry juice that's really good and y'all i started buying three gallons of milk at the time we can usually go through a gallon within a couple of days so i got us three i got some elbow pasta a couple of things of ground beef got two things of yellow rice to have as a dinner side and then i also got a few flavors of these nor um, sides i got two of the chicken uh, two cheddar broccoli two of the urban butter to taco rice and these also make really easy dinners you can throw in some meat some ground beef sausage and you got a one dish meal so i got some of those to have in the pantry we got some cilantro salsa for our taco salad bowls some cajun seasoning uh this way so one night i'm planning on doing some uh shrimp po'boys so i got some of these shrimp poppers and honestly one bag would have been enough but i didn't know how big the bags were so i got two and um, we're gonna do some shrimp po boys with those underneath these are some great value chicken strips we got some shredded lettuce coleslaw mix that'll be for the shrimp po boys and then the lettuce is for our taco bowls got some lunch meat heavy whipping cream that's for a recipe i'm doing this week got some orange juice got this huge bag of broccoli florets got a few frozen pizzas just for convenience so i got a cheese pizza one of my kids only eats cheese so i got him that one and then two pepperoni got a bag of gala apples some hoagie buns that'll be for our shrimp po boys some regular sandwich bread bananas mozzarella and some oh we also got some water drops this pineapple mango flavor is really good and then some non-food items i got some hairspray my sister says this is really good so i'm gonna try it out and see i have really fine hair and it doesn't hold curl to save my life the curling wand it's some kind of black material i don't know what it is that's the only thing that'll curl my hair and it actually hold but if i try to curl my hair with a curling iron it doesn't work <laughs> so i'm gonna try changing my hairspray and see if that works got some rubber bands for ray's hair also needed some more laundry sanitizer i normally use this in just about every load that i wash i needed some more refills for my plugs so this is the rainy spring day scent hopefully it smells good <laughs> lastly some downy unstoppables this is the paradise scent I also got two containers, a smaller one for the small dog's dog food. I usually just get them a small bag, but Walmart gave me the wrong dog food this week. And I also got a container for Ellie's dog food. I usually go ahead and get her the big bag, so I'm planning on putting dog food in those. And coming over to this counter, I got some more russet potatoes, two boxes of my Sam's Zero Sugar Cola, I went ahead and got a box of Awanis to have and then two bags of cereal. We got the marshmallow mateys and the cocoa dino bites. 
I'm going ahead and writing out my meal plan for the week. When I'm sitting down doing my meal plan, I'll just put it in the notes section of my phone. I do like to transfer it to this meal plan sheet that I keep hanging up by my pantry, just so I can quickly glance at it and see what options I have for dinner. So I'm gonna get that wrote out and hung up. You guys can also go ahead and take a screenshot of my meal plan if you would like to. I did type it out because I know it's kind of hard to read handwriting sometimes on video so I did type it out for you guys this time um, but like I mentioned earlier in the video these are all minimal effort meals I will be sharing them over on Kelly's Kitchen in my Tired Mama meal series that will be coming up this week on Wednesday and you'll get to see how I put everything together and serve it we actually had the po'boys on the night that I'm recording this voiceover and they were so good but the link to my cooking channel is down below in the description box I don't take this runner off for meals. I probably should, but the kids have actually done very well not getting anything on it. They did get a little something on it over the weekend, but that was a first. I was very intentional with the kind of runner I bought for my table. I wanted one I could throw in the washer if I needed to, so it's totally fine if they get something on it because I can just wash it. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum and mop in here. Y'all know I've been mopping the rooms each week as I get them clean. That's been working out really well, so I don't have to mop the entire house at one time. But once I finish in here, we are gonna get the new curtains hung in the kitchen. I love them so much and I cannot wait for y'all to see them. So now for the curtains, I will link these down below for y'all, but I wanted something sweet and simple here in my kitchen. I also wanted something light that would allow the light to shine through because I like for my kitchen to be bright and airy during the day. And I was on Walmart scrolling and when I saw these, I knew they were exactly what I wanted. They're all lace in a creamy off-white color. So they added a little warmth in here with all the white that I have going on. I've got white walls and white cabinets. light was shining through was so beautiful I think they added such a vibe to my kitchen I do plan on removing the wreath or switching it out for something smaller because I think it's a little too big with the curtains but I absolutely love these curtains
But I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this kitchen. It's usually one of the first rooms that I do, but I put it off today. It really didn't need a lot of attention, but I did still need to unload my dishwasher, get it reloaded, and then I like to scrub my sink out at least once a week with bar keepers to shine it up. And I also needed to wipe down my appliances. I normally have to do that weekly as well. You have the time of your life every single night The confetti's raining down You put your hands to the sky Center of the crowd You're the talk of the town And I tell myself I don't want that What glitters sink gold I tell myself I don't need it Cause I'm fine on my own But I hate being on the outside but I wanted to show y'all my vacuum dust cup. This was empty when I started today, but a lot of it was from under my couch. There was a lot of dust and dirt under the couch because it is by my front door where we walk in and out of the house. I just wanted to show y'all while I was emptying that. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the rugs put back down that I washed earlier today. The last room I wanted to take care of today is Kane and Ray's bedroom. It needed a mama's touch. I do like to do that about once a week. And I just wanted to address something because I feel like it needs to be said. I've had some assumptions lately that are not true, but just because you see me cleaning up behind my kids in a video doesn't mean they aren't made to clean up behind themselves. Also note that just because you don't see my kids on camera cleaning doesn't mean that they don't have things they have to do. That's not just for my videos. Keep that in mind when you're watching other channels. I know for me personally, when I'm filming a cleaning video, I try to film to 
motivate this is my job and most of the time I would rather just do it myself if I'm filming my kids do sometimes help me on camera and they do make occasional appearances but the majority of the time I don't like to film them for safety reasons and I feel like a lot of y'all get that and understand that but the whole point I'm trying to make is that my kids are made to clean up behind the scenes but I also help them as needed like right now Kane and Ray pick up their room daily but they are also children it's not going to be perfect so I do like to put my touch on it now my 13 year old he keeps his room pretty clean by himself he mops and vacuums his floors as well and he does do a better job at maintaining his room more so than Kane and Ray but he is older he's 13 I will be soon going in there and putting my touch on it and that's just part of my job as a mother we can teach our kids to clean up while also helping them and there's nothing wrong with it as for me I'm holding on to these days as long as I can before they won't need us anymore they won't need our touch and that's just something that I wanted to address but I am gonna go ahead and in today's video I hope that y'all are leaving today feeling motivated I'll see y'all on Wednesday over on Kelly's kitchen so go subscribe over there I'll have the link below remember to leave a butterfly and I'll see you in the next one <music>